The block in this problem is on a ramp inclined at an angle theta of 53 degrees. It has a mass m of 12 kilograms and it slides a distance delta s of 2 meters down the ramp. We're asked to calculate in parts a, b, and c the work done by three forces acting on it. The work done by any constant force f is the force dotted into the displacement, which is the product of those magnitudes times cosine of the angle between them. So before we calculate these works, we need to know the magnitude of the three forces, the friction force, the weight, and the normal force. We know the magnitude of the weight, it's mg. To find the other two, let's draw a free body diagram and apply Newton's second law to solve for them. There are three forces acting on the box. Its weight is straight down, the normal force is perpendicular to the ramp, and friction opposes the motion so it's directed up the ramp. If we draw some reference lines, and an xy coordinate system rotated to align with the ramp, we can draw these angles which are all theta. Seeing that the weight has a y component of length mg cosine theta and the x component has a length of mg sine theta. So now when we sum forces in the y direction and set it equal to ma, we get the normal force minus the y component of weight mg cos theta and those equal zero because there's no acceleration in the y direction. That tells us that the normal force is mg cos theta. And the kinetic friction force then, mu sub k times n, is mu k mg cos theta. Now we can solve part a, finding the work done by the friction force. It's the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between those two things. Friction is directed up the ramp, and the displacement is down the ramp, so the angle theta sub f for friction is 180 degrees, and cosine of that is negative 1. So this gives us minus the product of the magnitudes, after substituting numbers, we get negative 57 joules. Negative because the force and the displacement are in opposite directions. Part B asks for the work done by gravity, or the weight, that's mg times delta s times cosine of the angle between the weight and the displacement. The weight is straight down, so we're looking for this angle that I'll draw in red, phi sub w. Noticing that this is a right angle, we can calculate the angle phi for the weight vector to be 37 degrees. When we substitute numbers now and calculate, we find that the work done by weight is 188 joules. It's positive because the weight is down and the block is sliding down the ramp. Part C asks us for the work done by the normal force. I'll draw that here in green. Notice that it is perpendicular to the displacement. So when we write the work, it's the magnitude of the normal force times the magnitude of the displacement times cosine of that angle, which is 90 degrees, and cosine of 90 is zero. So there's no work done by the normal force. Part D asks for the net work done on the box. The net work is the sum of all the individual works. So we have the work from friction, plus the work done by the weight, plus the work done by the normal force, and that equals 131 joules.